Welcome to this series where we are playing Reforged Eden 2 Beta for Imperium Galactic Survival. And we're currently stood on top of my capital vessel in the middle of a storm on this jungle planet that we came to in the last part. You can see here what I've done since the end of that video is a little bit more exploration simply because, um, well, this is a good segue into, as usual, saying a big thank you for all your comments and feedback. You guys give me a lot to think about. And one thing somebody posted is that there are these treasure deposits on the, the planet, on jungle planets. So we're going to go and check that, um, that. So we're going to go and check this treasure deposit out. The other thing also, I found this large drone hangars here. It's level three. And I think we're going to go and take a quick look at that. And I'm not saying that we're going to attack it, but just in case that we might do it, what I've done is I've actually upgraded the MX-5 and put some laser cannons on. I think the Gatling guns were kind of getting a little bit outmoded. They're only light Gatling um, laser cannons, so I thought I'd just give those a try because I think we're now getting into the place where... How can you put it? Um, we are now getting to the point where we're going to need to take shields down on Xerox bases. So that's something we want to do. The other thing also, and this is going to be the main focus of the video, is that I, the blueprint is now finished. And what? Um, and, the, and the main focus is going to be on sorting out my capital vessels because the blueprint is now finished so we've got to find some way to get the capital vessel in and somebody kind of pointed out that um, my plan for um well we've got to find this treasure they are very short range and somebody pointed out in the comments that uh my plan to spawn the ship next to the star system is a no-go well it says it's right near us but now these treasures do have really short range capability let me just see there it is just there you've got to get in very close to find these now i've got no idea what we're going to find inside it took a very long time to actually find one so we're just gonna i've got no idea what i'm looking for but it says it's down there 23 meters uh, maybe we'll just push through here a little bit Well, it says it's in here somewhere. Uh, I'm assuming that I'm looking for some kind of loot box, but I'm not. Oh, I parked on top of it. <laughs> wow, we found a raw diamond. Now that's pretty good. Because if you watch the previous part, I was talking about actually finding those from the Talon quarries. So I think that's going to make quite a big difference. Um, now, the next thing I want to do is we're going to go in this direction. I just want to take a look, see at whatever is in this direction. Again, it's going to be a question of kind of sneaking in. Um, Okay, it's 1.7 kilometers away. So, I don't ever recall encountering a drone hangar. So we might as well just go in here. I'm, I do need to reload the lasers. I don't have a lot in the way of missiles either, so... Anyway, we're just going to... Ah, uh, yeah, as I su suspected, it's got shields. So what we can do, actually, come to think of it, is see if we can... Wow, it's also protected by a lot of the heat signature there. What's that? Okay, we found another treasure. But we've also found a lot of trouble in the form of these drones. Can I get in very quickly? And snag that. This could be a little bit high risk. <laughs> Can't hang around here too long. Um, 
Oh, there it is again. Getting very good at parking on top of them. Hey, go away. Okay, we're just gonna heal up and we uh, put this stuff in the fridge. We'll also put the diamond in the. So we've got two raw diamonds now. Right, somehow we've got to find a way to draw these drones away. Whoops. What we'll do is what we'll, yeah that's it draw them towards us and the nice thing about using lasers as opposed to the missile launchers for taking out drones is that the attack is almost instantaneous um where the trouble with using the guided missiles is that um there's a lag and the drones can move out the way uh I think what we will do is we'll just have a a little bit of a quick swoop in. There's one. Oops, that cop. Okay, we're just going to pull them back. <laughs> come on, guys, come back this. Come this way. Right. We'll let the turrets do the work. I'm very tempted to want to swoop down and if we can loot, loot this rocket lot. Okay, we've got a little bit of cover here. We shot these guys. Um, let's change to third person. Somebody also mentioned the statues that we found as well it seems they are part of the UCH um, missions but um, as far as I know they were a little bit too close to this Epsilon thing with the other drone so what I want to do is I want to say we're not going to take this down unless of course by some wonderful piece of magic the uh, yeah okay we, we're gonna swoop in no 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 go 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 <laughs> that was a little bit too hot to handle okay um sm light dry light lasers waste of time okay back to uh, right we we'll get rid of you don't need you. Um, there's no way we're going to get into there. Um, right, let's just head north back to Makara. And we'll see how much damage has been done. Probably what we're going to have to do is go up to medium lasers. I think that those light lasers barely put a dent in the... Um, I mean, those light lasers barely put a dent in the shields. They're not going to do anything very much, are they? Uh, where is the front of the ship? I can I can never find the front of this ship. This might be a little bit interesting. Can't see a thing. One thing I don't like about jungle planets. Okay, let's level off. Right, back to first person. Um, try and get. Uh, little bit of symmetry on the ship. So we've got the thrusters off. Um we're just a little bit of a look see. Um I'm not seeing any major damage but of course the proof is gonna be in the air bay. 
Okay, so it looks like we're going to need 148 repair charges. <laughs> um, just curiosity. Let's just have a look around and see where where the damage actually was. Okay. Yeah, there's a. Let's just. Oh, well, I'm not seeing any damage. Oh, yeah, we. Aha. The damage was in here. Look at that. Well. Wow. And we've lost a block as well, which means we've lost carry capacity. Okay. Right, we need some repair charges. Let's just go back and see whether that is. Yeah, repair to block, and then we're going to have to do a repair to template. Okay, so let me just uh, get there. I might just shove that in there. I don't want the Merc, I want the Makara. Turn that off. And we'll make two of those very, very quickly. And we're, what's it? Fuel and oxygen. 500 repair charges. You certainly need quite a lot of these. Um, just get the ship repaired. It's better to do the blocks first and then come back and see what needs to be replaced. Okay, it looks like we need a couple of copper ingots. I uh, might as well put some in. We got 80, so I'll put 80 copper, copper ingots in. Something tells me I'm going to need them. <laughs> right. And we'll just repair the ship. Um, need a bit of food. And that would be, that's basically repaired everything through there. I think the problem at the back here is that, oops, no. These are only small steel blocks, but truthfully, I shouldn't be showing the rear of the ship to them. Let's just check the. Yep, everything done. Okay. Time to go. Um, we do need some food. Turn that off. Uh, food and meds. Um, I quite like these fruit pies, actually. Um, let me just see. Make a couple more, just replace them. And... Yeah, what we run on? Confetti moss scrapings. Okay, so it looks like we're out of nutrients. I think I can fix that. I want, I want to do it while I'm thinking about it. Inputs. Um, put those in there, actually, while we're at it. We'll put some meat in as well. Don't need the milk. And I think that's about it, isn't it? Yep. What that should do is allow me to make confetti moss scrapings. I don't think I really need that much in the way of meds. The only kind of meds I would like to do is maybe another one of those. We'll just chuck that in. Anyway, right. Now for my strategy about getting in a capital vessel. The first thing we're going to need to do is change systems. So turn the thrusters on. Yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is leave this system because we've still got the mission to find F-class planets. We just check. Yeah, I've got the... So what we're going to do is go up into space and we're going to warp to a a, a new system so that we can move forward to this main mission of finding F-class systems. I don't think there's going to be much more that we can do um, beyond that. 
So we're going to get up into space, hang out. Got Xerox Naval Shipyard, right? Let's get out of here. SAP. Turn on the, not the info panel. Turn on territories. And we need another F class system going in the direction. I think maybe we'll just see what is around. Um, we got a system called Reglenum there. It's not how far away is that? Uh, lock target. That's only 13 light years away. That would do. And the, as usual, the arrow is hidden from me. So what we're going to do is get up speed and away we go. And here we are. All right, we're just going to line the ship up. Turn the thrusters off. We're going to leave the ship here. This is where things get a little bit theoretical. Now, as I say, I've been told that I can't actually bring in the, uh, what we call it, uh, the CV here. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk to an F-class system. Yeah. It says three out of three, so we've got to do another one. Okay. Um, where's the cockpit? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is we can't actually, um, well, it looks like I might have lost a thruster actually, by the fact that the, um, right. So the idea is going to be, is that we're going to go into a system. Now I am going to need to pick up, um, the necessary some fuel. Um, I haven't got too far away from the Wakara. Yes, I have. Okay, let me just a little bit too enthusiastic on the light path. So we need to get in. Now I've got no idea whatsoever what weapons are on this new CV and so what ammunition we're going to need. So what we're going to do is we're going to. Arbus controller, um, Makara, fuel and oxygen. Um, we're going to take 345 of that with us. We're going to take, I probably don't need 3,000. Um, we've got a little bit of oxygen. We'll stack that. What I will do is put our raw diamonds in there oops so what I've got now is an, should have enough refined pentaxid and fuel to be able to do what we need um, the other thing let me look at something as well apologies for getting a bit distracted but it suddenly occurred to me I think I wouldn't mind what do we need for for these um, medium laser cannons, Hi hyper laser cannon, advanced upgrade kits, small upgrade kits. Um, trouble is the CPU is a bit big, but we should be able to get these on though. What we need is one small upgrade kit, one advanced upgrade kit, but we did pick up, um, I say we did pick up some, uh, what we call it, um, upgrade kits. So. I think what I will do is just go to player, um, inputs, weapons, railgun lights. What is that? It really annoys me when the game does this. Um, I think that's the laser cannons there, isn't it? That's the medium rail guns. Give up two of those what, so they can build while we're away. Right, so what we're going to do is... Uh, actually, <laughs> let me just check the warp fuel on the 
Merc. And uh, we got a look because we got a bit beat up. So what we're going to do now, this is the system we're in. What I'm looking for is, um, I want really looking for poor quality asteroid fill. Um, the reason I'm choosing this is that um, it would give me time to do things in the, onto the CV when it arrives and docking. And if we don't move from the poor asteroid field, we should be okay. So we're going to lock the target there. It's only 14 astronomical units away. And this is where I fly straight into trouble. Wow. Um, well, we found a Prometheum asteroid. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not seeing any hostiles as such here. We've got an asteroid field. We've got a Prometheum asteroid here, so we'll probably come back here for the Prometheum asteroid. But now comes the fun bit. Uh, we should come up here. This is where I find that the, I doubt very much if the, um, can we dock? Yeah, we should be able to. It's going to be a little, going to be a little bit tricky getting the MX-5 in. It's a bit of a tight fit, I think, but, um, Okay, we're in, we're docked. Um, turn the shields off, save a bit of fuel. And the next thing we're going to need to do, um, this is the Hydra. Got a smidge of oxygen in. Right, obviously the fuel tanks aren't excessively big. And that will give us the fuel to be able to do it right right time to have a look around now i have looked around this ship on in the workshop and let's just have a look and see what we've got right so we got a whole range of missiles here we've got 300 laser turrets rolling airframe missiles um and corinthos 2.54 corinthos missiles let's see what we got in the way of devices right we've got some nice storage on here as well. We got we got three cockpits. <laughs> um, we got one constructor. We'll see what that is. Is it hooked up to anything? No. Okay. Um, I think we'll just hook you to materials for the moment. Uh, we got some fridge. We're probably linking it up to the ammo would be a good thing. Caution, high temperature radiation. Now, as far as I know, right, we've got a med bay here. Fully equipped med bay. I say the hangar's going to be a very tight fit because when we go out and about, I would certainly like to be able to, um, how can you put it? Uh, um, <laughs> Now, um, it's, uh, now the hangar is going to be a bit of a tight fit, so we're going to have to see whether we can. So docking could be an issue because I was hoping to have the auger in here. Um, although, uh, yeah, right, there's nothing there. Let's just just check this floor first. Wow. Okay, that allows us to repair the thrusters. I think this is a. Um, what was it? This ship is by NT. And I think the ability to get to thrusters and things like that is a bit of a feature of the, 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 his ships. Okay, there's nothing else there. So it looks like we've got to go up. It says gunnery bridge exit. 
Level one. Okay. Let's have a look. Um, well, we got shields, but I'm not going to turn them on. Thrusters. Wow. Pretty awesome. Right. Get there. Yes, I haven't got any more probes. Thank you, game. So we are now back to here. Looks like we've got some. Right, the Plutus is eight kilometers away. So what I'm going to do now is we're just going to head for the Plutus or the Makara. And I'll see you once we get there. So here we are. We're just coming up on the Makara. Um, um, just want to get in alongside so that I've got the ability to compare the two ships because this is something I haven't done. So we're uh, just going to line up here, turn the thrusters off, save fuel. Um, we should now be in range of the Makara. So what I can do now is put in a full complement of oxygen in. Um, the fuel is good. We've now got a full complement of fuel. What's that there? Okay, that's an exit. As I say, I haven't really explored this ship. Right, it says this is engineering and hype. Oh, yeah, I've read this. So I'll just read it for you. There's a warning: do not use the front bridge while fighting uh, while fighting on armor. Um, upgrade instruction: color schemes can be found in the crew area. The display upgrade guide um, system activated. P um, menu upgrade markers. The upper communications disc can be replaced with a long range radar. You need to remove the radar at the bottom to be able to place it. The bottom radar can be replaced with a turret to cover the hangar when landed, landed e.g. If, if it is no longer um, needed because the long range array is being used. Thrusters can be upgraded, rocket thrusters can be replaced. The armor spare area in the bow allows to upgrade the internal bow armor. Yeah, I think that's, I think the center is actually hollowed out. Um, I'm very tempted to take this away, but I will leave it just for the moment. Right, we've got hydroponics here. So we, we've got a farm over here, which we could put in. So we've got a reasonable farm area here. And again, this is the feature of Entei's ships, is the things so we got a farm that side. Is it duplicated on the other side? Or is it just one single farm? Looks like we've only got the one single farm. So this is maintenance. Well, yeah, this just comes. I can imagine us getting yeah a lot of radiation in here, so we don't want to hang around here. Um, and then we got the main bridge in front, so. So this is our main bridge and then at the top we've got captain workshop C cpu gravity generator crew areas and the suicide bridge <laughs> and i think he's not kidding when he said this is the suicide bridge i think the suicide bridge is out this way um basically what he means by the suicide bridge is that this is right at the front of the ship it's got armored windows, but in a battle, um, you know, just jump in and show you. We're, so this is going to be like for landing, close maneuvers, exploring, um, but certainly not some a bridge that you want to be sat in in the middle of a battle because 
because effectively um, one of the features I think I've noticed it by watching one of Spange's videos is that um, a lot of the ships being built for Reforged Eden 2 now are having these very heavy armoured layers in fact it's probably um, we kind of look at probably some of the blocks in this area yep. you can see we've got combat steel all the way across the front um, in fact probably it might be useful in the long term if you're going to get into a lot of serious battles is probably to remove this bridge and then um, completely pad it out with uh, what we call it um, combat blocks this is caution I think this is just an another exit isn't it yeah caution space <laughs> and we got uh, an armor locker there got another oxygen which is good I like this because one one thing that does annoy me sometimes is when like you've got a, sh a great big ship and then oh what have we got a ladder for okay let's have a look up here and we got yeah we've got here armor spare yep this is what he was talking about is you could pad fill this in to make the ship a lot more resilient um, with the sense that this is all kind of hollow at the moment if you're going to get into some serious battles then um you know you, that's what that's what you'd want to do um is to get in and into this area here what's down there then if i come up here okay, let me just this is just more crew quarters and i don't know what else is here this is the this is the cantina and we've got some fridges here we've got side armored windows now I'm probably going to upset a couple of people by saying what I'm just about to do and that oh we got oh we got a weapons locker here okay we've got actually an upgrade locker here um what I was about to say is that um all these armored windows on this side are I mean the 15,000 points though is okay but I think if I was going to get into some serious battles, I might fill these rooms with combat blocks as well. Um, got the gravity generator there, and it's right in the back here. We've got maintenance. This is where our, yeah, I guess the warp drive. Yep, really great looking ship, actually. Does this go up any further? No. Okay, so, so is there any exits on this level? Um, beyond i think it's the suicide bridge isn't it where we've got to go out we can get outside i i would have liked some form of exit um to the top because what we may have to do is actually um dock so i think what we need to do i think i'd like to fit the ship out um i don't think i've got any Makara, where's my main storage? We got two steel hydroponics. Okay, let me just see main storage. Right, we're just gonna go and find the farm again, and just to get an idea of how much. Because I would like to fit the farm out before we go anywhere. Hangar deck. This is this is hangar deck, is it? Um no, that's the suicide bridge. This is for um we're gonna go down one. I suppose this is the normal bridge, then the other bridge is the combat bridge. Um, that's maintenance. Here's the hydroponics. Get down here. So we got basically looking up there. Each one of these lights would normally cover nine. So what what that means is that we need sixteen. Uh, what we call it, um, 
things. I think actually what I will do is I'll make a basic probe while I'm at it. Um, because the game seems to think, I'm, I'm, I wonder if it, I've kind of spoofed the ship a bit with respect to... Yeah, I think maybe because I came in here with a, a separate ship. So we got two, we got two of those. We need 16 grow plots. I think I can make those on the Makara. Um, and put, come here. We need still two, three, four, five, six. So apologies that we're going, I'm just going to do this because I'd like this. Because what I want to do is fit this ship out so that we it would be ready to go. So what we've got to do now is go to A-class system. So we finish the dub the other cl class ships right now. I'm just wandering around, kind of being a bit crazy. Um, this has got an exit to the outside, hasn't it? Um, where's the, I just want to gauge the length of the ships. That is nearly as big as the uh, Makara. Um, so the Plutus, I just want to look at the top of the, because one option that I want to do is to put, be able to dock the Plutus with the top of this ship. In fact, I think we're going to give that a go. This is the next thing I need to know. Um, I've got to remember how to get into the, into the Plutus now. There it is. Got to remember how to navigate all these different ships. Okay, I've just gone down too far. Gone through the... Okay, we're just going to jump in here. And turn the power on. Now, there's the... Con well, there's going to be like two configurations that I'm considering is that I can dock the Plutus to the top of the... Yeah, so that works great. Because the idea is is that um, the Makara is going to stay in orbit around a system. The um, We've got the Combat CV, which we can use for um, some operations. Now, the generally asteroid belts and things like that are relatively safe so the idea is that the the hydra we can use the hydra to go like for mining in space and we can dock that there but the problem we've got is i would like to put the auger on as well but we um the ship but we've already filled up the hangar. In fact, I probably wouldn't mind being able to dock the MX-5. Um, oh, we've got a bit of space at the front here. Right, right we're going to go in here. Because the MX-5 is a bit big. So we're just going to come in here... That's the locker. I thought there was some oxygen in here. And um, there it is. Right, we're going to remove the MX, take the MX-5 out. Um, this is going to be tricky, isn't it? Um, right, we're going to bring the MX-5 out.
Have I got damage there? Um, let me just look at that. Yeah, it looks like we've taken a little bit of damage along this side as well. Okay, we're going to need to look at that. Okay, let's just get the... Um, up, 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 up. Of course, all this is going to be quite complicated. They're about to leave remote logistics. Yeah, that's okay. I press alt. Um, trouble with this is it can be um, back, 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 reverse in, no, wrong way, because of course we're looking from the outside. Okay, I've been able to dock the MX-5 on the front, so that just leaves the auger which can go in there so we, we've got the configuration that I'm looking for and of course the reverse configuration is that when we want to take the Matara away we're going to have to put the Plutus into here anyway um, we're just going to go in the back again I think this is the turret, this is the long range radar here, which I think uh, that's going to be a problem if we move, I mean we could, I think what he was actually talking about was moving this wasn't it, and then moving the, the long range radar out the way which is there, anyway we're just going to get into here, I'm just going to get through here, just turn off the it's actually sure what I'm one, one, walking around with my gun. Hopefully by now, I'm going to go up one floor. That's the main bridge. <laughs> Hydroponics. And hopefully, I can't remember what have I got this set up to for fuel and oxygen. Wrong place, but. It'll work. Take out those three there. This gives us the crops. Now the problem is I'm not... Oh, we've got plants here. Okay, let me just see. Um... I'm going to be more interested in, I don't think we really need plant fibers, grain, natural stimulants, eggs, I don't think we really need eggs. What I'd be more interested in is, not really interested in fruit. Um, is that it? Okay, we're going to have to make some raw food. Um, we've, we've got plenty of stuff. What I'm looking for is vegetables. The reason is that vegetables themselves, um, just to show you, vegetables produce more, but they're also more flexible in the sense that you can turn vegetables into plant protein if I show you that if you can get um, one plant protein from two vegetables you can also get by making plant protein you can also get meat so what I'm thinking is if we're going to put plants into here what we need is um, pumpkin sprouts Vegetables, craft, yeah, 
that's a crop yield of three. That's got a crop yield of four. It's probably quicker, but I think we're going to make how many? How many of these do we get? Output of two. So we need two of those to give us four plants. Um, next thing I want is um, meds. Would I really need meds? I think we're take that for a couple of meds. Um, one of those for spices. What I'm looking for is the ability to make um, basic food and also pos the possibility, say, for example, get into a situation where we need to make more medical stuff. I think the natural sweetener would be quite useful as well. Um, medicinal growths, I don't think we really need those. We can get that by beating up the opposition. Uh, I'd like to make a fruit tart. What else do we need for a fruit tart? I like the fruit tarts. Milk, eggs. Okay, we need eggs. <clears throat> then again, do we need fruit tarts? I mean, fruit tarts are pretty good. I mean, they. they, they um, I mean, this is more reserve food than anything else. So, let me just go to food and meds. We're we're put in what we've got so far. Um, and then we'll take it from that. I'm not going to worry about things like plant fiber. A uh, couple of spices in. This is more in the case of like uh, emergency rations that we need. Should go. Okay, so we'll put in some of those like that. Like I said, I think maybe we could put in some more veggies and then that leaves six plots for other stuff so we're just gonna get back to there um yeah we're gonna make one more of those um mushrooms i, I don't seem to use that much at the moment um herbal leaves um I wouldn't mind some herbal leaves. We although because we got quite a lot. Um, I think we'll make um, one take one of those as well. Um, fruit, no. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll take a couple of those as well. Yeah, I know there's not enough light growing, but that's okay just get this farm set up I think a couple of herbal leaves would be um, any good some grain grain grows relatively quickly so we um, so we've got a lower herbal leaves there we've got some spices and right we're just gonna take what we're gonna use for the last two plants I don't really feel the need for that. We don't need the natural split sweetener. Probably are not biological specimens. I I think maybe natural stimulant because I think natural stimulant is part of medications as well. If we take a look, some of these medications need that natural stimulant as well. So I think what we will do is where. Yeah, I mean, that's the... Th um, yeah, and um, where's the natural stimulant? Um, come on, it's in here somewhere. Biological specimen. Medici medicinal growth. You've got to be able to grow eggs. Um... um yield one egg um okay we'll make an eggplant and if i can find the natural stimulant plant let me just see it should be in here medicinal growth fruits berries herbal leaves 
There it is here. Natural stimulant. Right. Just make that. And uh, wait for. Yeah, we've got a couple of wheat sprout plants which we can leave in here for the moment. And we've got the natural stimulant. So we're going to put a, a coffee plant in and also one of those. And what we can do is switch on that. Get rid of that. So that gets our kind of survival farm up and running. And say so this is purely here for if we're running a long-term operation. Now, of course, with respect to long-term operations, we do now need to consider the implications for the um, the Makara, because if we, because obviously power it could run out of power, and that would have consequences for our some of our food and meds in here, and more importantly, the raw food. So we may need to kind of move some of this stuff over and just leave behind some of the stuff that won't ever um so what we're probably going to need to do is take the perishables with us we're also going to need to take the supplies that we're going to need for um the uh what we call it the day-to-day -day stuff so uh, we need to do that so that we've got an operational but the other thing that we also need to do is work on some oops sorry the other thing we're also going to need to do oops um, and the other thing, I can't get rid of this. It's really annoying when this happens. Now I'm aware that I'm actually running out of time on this video. So what I'm going to do is to wind up is we're going to take a look at what the weapons requirement is. We need Corinthus miss 254 Corinthus missiles. 158 rolling airframe missiles, 12.7 rounds, and 350 millimeter, 350 watt. Now, let's have a look at what we've got in here. Um, recycle. Right, we've got 320k ammo. Um, what have we got here? We need 12.7 rounds of ammunition. Uh, and we've got 67 158 um, rolling airframe missiles. What else do we need? Um, 350 megawatt laser tur turret charge and 254 Corinthus missiles. So... Let's just get back to here. Um, that's plasma turret. I think that's the that's the laser turret charges. Got some more airframe missiles. Right. So the one. Let's just double check this. So the so we got. Five three hundred and fifty megawatt laser charges, and we've got thirty three. Uh, so all we got to do now is look oh, no. uh, ammunition. Okay, so we got the two five four Corinthus. Missiles. What do we need for these? Oh, aluminium powder, magnesium. Oh, this is going to be expensive. <laughs> um, how many do we get? We get an output of 16. So let me just get one, two, three, four, five. Right, we've got to make hydrogen, which means we need water. I don't think of uh, this is going to be an expensive ship to operate, isn't it? Uh, let me just see what the water situation is. And of course, we're also going to need magnesium as well. 
We've got quite a fair amount of magnesium. That's 96 of those. Um, we're going to make, make a few more. For luck. Um, the laser turret charges aren't quite so bad. Um, we'll make 10 of those. And what's the other thing that we need? Um, the rolling 158 millimeter rolling airframe missiles. These ones here. Again, these need magnesium power and hydrogen. Um, we're really going to need to work on some water. How many do we get here? Output. We'll make one, two, three, four, five of those. So if we're going to get into a pretty heavy battle, we're certainly going to need to work on the water. Um, the oxygen switched on. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. I think just to finish off where so I don't want to go a hundred percent overboard with the things we'll get 600 there we will pick across there I think just to finish off uh we'll go out the side door here um where's the Right, um, Makara main storage, pick up to that. Now, hey, just to finish off, where uh, come here, oops, we're uh, gonna retrieve the light laser cannons. Um, we'll put the medium laser cannons on as well though we're going to have to work out what ammunition we're going to need and hopefully we won't go over the top I can't push these in on this side whoops got you can do it game right we're just going to have a quick look at what we need for this right we need 300 megawatt laser charges now um, okay, let me just see, player, um, we've got 200 megawatt laser charges, reserve, um, I can go there, those are plasma charges, okay, so we're going to need to make some 250 megawatts, <sighs> was it 250? Um, 300 megawatt laser charges for sh the um, Makara inputs weapons right that's 200 um, so this is the 300 megawatts so this needs an elemental pen okay so we can make some of these well we only get two put two per shot okay we're going to make 10 of those so anyway this is where i'm going to leave it uh obviously i've got a bit more work to do and what we're going to be doing in the next part is um putting this ship through its paces so we're, i'm gonna do all the necessary swapping over so that the makara can stay out of here and then what we will do is give our um, the hydra an outrun to see how well it does uh, what I will probably do is the first outrun, I think I will take the Pollutus off and we'll just operate with the MX-5 and the Orga as an operational ship because I think having this on top in our, maybe in our first kind of encounters 
may be a little bit of a problem. So, and in fact, what I might do off camera is see if I can have a little bit of a practice dock with the Makara, because if we can't actually do it, we're going to have a bit of a problem. Yeah, I think we had a, a little bit of a kind of a brush it. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.